Hotel in Las Vegas, here's our host, Allison some of the acts on tonight's show, that's because all of them have tried to fool Penn and Teller before, but they couldn't quite pull it off. Will they succeed this time, or are they just gluttons for magical punishment? <laughs> to find out, we need to bring out our two guys you might also recognize from previous shows, Penn and Teller! <laughs> magician fools Penn and Teller, they get to perform in their Las Vegas Magic Spectacular. Let's meet our first potential fooler of the night. Hey guys, I haven't made a video in a while, so <laughs> I'm going to read off this for introduction. It's going to be one of these cool guys. Uh, you, cho you chose to do something really, really difficult, which is coin magic in front of us. Uh, there are certain principles in coin magic we just know. And uh, there's certain things that we did say. Uh, probably the most brilliant thing you did uh, was to uh, do an introduction where you changed the rules of the game on us. You changed it from having a pretty good idea how it was done overall to this 10% thing, which has nothing to do with fool us. It's totally what you pushed on us. But you know, part of the magic thing is game theory. And you played the game theory perfectly. And then you threw it in our laps and said... Hello Internet, welcome to Game Theory, where instead of putting a joke here, I want to ask you a question. If your personality were represented by a font, what font would you be? Take a moment and put your font in the comments. I'm really curious to see what everyone has to say. Maybe find a couple new cool fonts to use. Getting bored with old Calibri 11. And with that out of the way, it's time to talk Undertale. 